Welcome to Barley Pop. I'm Daniel Kahn, the brewmaster at Buckbean Brewing Company, and today I'm going to talk about how beer is made. Um, most people probably know there are four main ingredients in beer. There's water, malt, hops, and yeast. Um, all four of them contribute their, their own parts to the beer, and they're each added kind of in their own step. Um, the first step is mixing crushed malt with hot water in a step called the mash. And malt basically is barley that has been germinated and dried out. And this takes the raw barley and turns it into something that you can make good beer with. Uh, there are ways to make a lot of different styles of malt by varying the malting process and you can get a whole range of colors and flavors in different malts, even something up to as dark as this roasted malt here. This is the malt that gives our black knotty its black color and roasted flavor, but it still only takes 3% of this malt in that beer to do that. So most of the beers have at least three different types of malt in them. You vary the, the types with the recipes and the malt gives all of the color of the beer, um, all of the grainy, toasty, roasty type flavors that you get from different types of malt. Um, any of the sweet flavors come from the malt. Those are, are larger sugars that the yeast won't ferment that stay on in the beer and give the beer sweetness and body. And also all of the sugar that the yeast winds up fermenting into alcohol comes from the malt. So the amount of malt that you start with primarily determines how strong a beer is going to get. The types of malt that you use determines how dark a beer will be. The next ingredient is hops. Um, hops are a climbing vine in the cannabis family and the hops are added during the boil once you've separated the, uh, the sweet liquid from the grains, that liquid's transferred into the kettle, bring that up to a boil. Hops are added uh, during the boil. The hops give the primary bitterness to beer. That's from a, a compound called alpha acids that are in the hops. They do require an extended period of boiling in order to, to get that compound out and, and dissolved into the liquid. Um, if you boil the hops for that long, you boil out all the aroma and a lot of the other flavors that the hops have. So generally there are multiple hop additions during the boil so that you get most of your bitterness from the, the early additions. You get less bitterness and more flavor and aromas from the later additions. You can even add hops into uh, cold beer in a fermenter. This is called dry hopping, and that gives you the most amount of aroma that you can get from the hops and none of the bitterness. Once the, the boil is done, the liquid has to be cooled down before it's mixed with the yeast in the fermenter. Um, you can't see what's on the inside of our fermenters because they're big metal tanks, but this is some actively fermenting beer that I've taken out of a fermenter. And you can see um, how much yeast is in there during the fer fermentation and, and how cloudy it is. Um, the yeast eats the sugar that came out of the malt, turns that into alcohol and carbon dioxide. The yeasts also produce a whole lot of the other flavor compounds that are characteristic of beer. Um, there are two species of yeast that are used. One is ale yeast, the other is lager yeast. So it is the yeast that makes the difference between ales and lagers. You do get different flavor profiles from the different types of yeast and ale yeast ferment warmer and faster, um, produce more esters, uh, which give the finished beer sort of fruity flavors. Um, lager yeast ferment cooler slower and also require more maturation time after the end of the fermentation um, in order to, to get the flavors that you're looking for. 
uh, from a lager beer. Um, typically an ale will take about a week to ferment um, and then at least another week of cold aging for the yeast and the other solids to settle out. A lager usually takes a week and a half to two weeks to ferment um, and at least a two weeks or longer of cold aging after the fermentation is done um, for that beer to really mature. Once the fermentation is done and the beer is carbonated, fully settled, then it's ready to package and drink. So thanks for watching Barley Pop and enjoy a good one.